So, welcome back. We're going to have a look at some cannabis stocks here. Now, I've brought two charts up, but we're thinking about the sector as a whole. But I've got, I've got two charts. One, which is this one, which is Aurora Cannabis. Very long uh, trading history here, all the way back to 2014. So, a very old stock, really. Um, for for the cannabis sector, that would be. And then another one, which is uh, CBDX, uh, uh, CBX, sorry, which is a very young chart. Uh, but it's a, it's a British one. Trades on the London Stock Exchange. So, we, But we're thinking about them uh, in terms of a sector. Uh, rather than uh, individual stocks but we are looking at individual stocks and this is the main chart that we're going to really focus on because it's got the longest history to it right so what we see is it was trading more or less static yeah, well I say static this isn't static at all it's quite volatile uh, back in its early trading days you know from the uh, from the highs to the lows this is this is the sort of pattern you'll see when the cannabis trading stocks come on everyone the euphoria is huge and then the pullback is massive that's a 70% uh, pullback from the top to uh, to the floor here then it traded static for the best part of two years really or at least a year and a half and then it finally started to gain traction uh, and euphoria entered the market so again we're looking at this on a weekly so if we measure this roughly from here to here that first initial pump <coughs> a thousand percent a 10x in uh, return on your investment it actually had a nice consolidation going static and then more euphoria entered the market significantly overbought massive crash back down by about 60 or 70 percent and then another big pump what looks like about 200 percent or more dead cat bounce basically another dead cat bounce here and then a final tailing off um, as the euphoria left the market death cross on the weekly never a good place to be and more more or less basically has gone static since then uh, there has been trading at relative lows down here which is uh, $4.25 today we're trading at $7.30 there has been some movement in the market for um, for cannabis stocks because of some changes uh, with the way that the liquidity is provided because of the um, I suppose because of all the little pockets of legalities especially in America where uh, state to state they they view this very differently um, there's been uh, there's been some creases ironed out recently which has led to a bit of a rally across the board for the sector right so when we're talking about investment remember I'm not talking about using leverage I'm not using eToro I use free trade where you basically buy your stock you hold it and um, you know the and you hold it for a prolonged period of time there's no leverage attached to it you're buying and holding the stock and essentially you're holding it for as uh, until it reaches maturity so this could take yeah for me uh, it depends on obviously the chart generally speaking but we're looking at it on a weekly it's got lots of room to move we've got bullish divergence formed over a, what is almost a two-year period now um, which was suggested of, if if anything, um, it's it's already had its lows. Its lows have probably already been in around around the uh, the, the three dollar zone. So we're we're, we're what a hundred percent up from its. Um from uh, over 100% up from its potential lows, and the Ichimoku cloud is is dissipating to the point where it will it will it will more or less uh, be easy enough for us to break out. A breakout zone is going to be uh, uh, 11 to 12 dollars, and that should cause the next wave of uh, of structural. Uh, integrity on this chart so we're looking for some decent moves after that point but in the short term what we're looking to do is essentially buy the lows uh, and hold the position for as long as it takes for it to reach maturity which could could be 10 years down the line like I say think about this in terms of a pension plan you know <laughs> not a quick trade but with uh, charts like this it does remind me of uh, the shit coins that we like to trade mostly on the channel you know lots of altcoins do look like this on a shorter time frame and um, this is a uh, this is uh, obviously a, a weekly uh, chart that goes back many many years and, and this might not interest many people do you know what I mean but there is there is perks of uh, doing stocks and shares over cryptocurrency if, if for one especially with using a platform like free trade but many of the other top uh, platforms you know if you if you're looking to uh, I suppose you know not avoid but uh, get away with not paying capital gains tax for instance you know all these platforms well I say all of them most of them including free trade they have the stocks and shares ISA that you can basically pop your your money into once you once you've taken your profit leave it in there for a 12 month period by the time it's come out the other end and um, there's no there there is no um, uh, capital gains tax it comes out it's all yours the tax man doesn't doesn't take any of it so like I say, you might be waiting a lot longer than you would do in cryptocurrency uh, to to receive your uh, your your uh, the the payout for your investment. But the tax man isn't going to be waiting at the other end uh, to get his share. So, and like I say, I, you know, it's it's nice and it's worth, in my opinion, having uh, a portfolio, even if it's just a small one, um, of uh, of stocks and shares. 
And anyway, the cannabis stock, uh, stocks uh, 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 and, and a lot of these things that I invest in uh, and, and, and continue to invest in or become interested in are the, well, they're, they're, they're new, aren't they? They're, they're kind of new sectors, right? So we got, you know, the first big one that I invested in recently was Coinbase. So not breaking the mold too much, but uh, invested in Coinbase. Coinbase to me looks like it's trying to branch out, go into a different area um, as well as what it already currently does. And uh, so, yeah, pick some of that up. Yeah, and uh, this uh, and cannabis in general, it had its euphoria. It's shown its potential on the chart. Uh, we do have previous resistances to meet up, and there's no reason why this couldn't grow to the point where it dwarfs these previous areas, right? Uh, but for the moment, um, we're coming down to, re you know, collapsed back into our own shadows down here. All cannabis stocks look like this, apart from, you've got to bear in mind that recently there has been a, uh, a fair old uptick uh, on on these uh, on on these um, stocks because of the, uh, the the developments that took place recently. So you know you might not be buy you you might be looking to uh, if you were to buy now you you would probably be seeing in the short term a bit more downside before the upside. But remember you'll never get the perfect entry point. The idea, especially with things <coughs> excuse me with things like this, is to is to get a position in the first place and uh, not look to uh, to uh, be checking this on a daily basis, you know, more of on, uh, if anything, like a quarterly or even a yearly basis. So anyway, this one looks like uh, it, it wants to turn up at some point over the next few years, and once it re once it regains this uh, this area of uh, about twelve dollars or so, uh, it'll it'll pick up an, uh, an uptrend. And again, there's a lot of there's a lot of room to move on this chart over years, right? A lot of room to move over years. Again, this isn't going to be a volatile beast, and from here to the 200 exponential, that's a 240. 3% move uh, just to get to that level. Once this is area has been reclaimed, then it can really start to grow. And again, uh, if, um, if, 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 you're, if you think about the, the sector as a whole, uh, it, it is branching out now to the point where um, you, you can go to your local chemist, even in the UK, and pick up CBD oils and things like this. Um, and, uh, and I think it's only a matter of time before more and more countries start to, uh, I suppose, uh, loosen the, 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 the strings uh, that they have over these companies and see the medical benefits, if not the recreational benefits of, of uh, cannabis. Um, uh, well, cannabis is itself, but derivatives of the plant. So, it, to me, it seems like a no-brainer and an opportunity worth taking in, uh, taking on. Again, this is for me, and it's up to you if you want to take it on. Uh, like I say, the, the the platform I use is only for, uh, for use in. Uh, uh, it's not. It's not. Um, it's not available for Americans. You, you'll have to find your own platform. But for me, I use Free Trade, and I would suggest you have a look at it yourself. And if you do actually take it on. Uh, you get a, a with with using my link actually uh, you get given a free share as well at some point uh, for, for once you've made once you've topped your account up and made your first uh, bought your first share then you'll be given a free share on top of that something completely random <laughs> so but it's up to you if you want to do it but like I say th don't look at these things in terms of instant gratification these are investments that take time years maybe maybe we'll be looking to hold this for over a decade uh, but a 200% well, a $200 or a 200 pound investment at this stage now you know to 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 go up to its previous uh, uh, all the way up here that's a very good return we're talking you're talking a 20x at that point now so you know that that would be you know a, a very nice return over well who knows how long anyway buy the lows sell the highs potentially buying the lows now and the highs well one five, ten, twenty years down the line. Think about it like a pension plan. That's certainly how I choose to to view a lot of my stocks and uh, shares investments. Right, I'll leave it with you there. Sorry to bore you to death. We'll be back on with uh, all the cryptocurrency stuff that you'd like to know as usual. And if you want to join the Patreon, there is a link in the description below. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.